Hey everybody, my name is Alex Merced and I'm a developer advocate here at Dremio. And today what I'd like to do is show you how you can easily take something like a CSV or a JSON file and be able to quickly turn it into an iceberg table, which allows Dremio to be a really key place to do a lot of that low hanging fruit ETL work. Okay, so your CSV or JSON file could be a part of an existing source. So here I have an S3 source that actually has some CSV and JSON files in it. Okay, I could go to my home space and I can actually upload a CSV or a JSON file if I just have a CSV or a JSON file that I want to quickly convert. Either way, as long as I get that CSV uh, or JSON file somewhere that I can access it here in Dremio, we're going to be good to go. Now I have to also make sure that I have a catalog connected, so which could be again a Dremio Optic catalog, an AWS Glue catalog, or an AWS S3 source. Any of those three could be a place where you can create iceberg tables. But then I'm going to go to the SQL editor and create my query. And the SQL editor makes things a lot easier. Why? Because I can do things like this. Like let's say I want to go bring up the name of that CSV file, but I don't want to have to type in this whole long string. I can look up that CSV file here that I've added to my as a source, and I can just drag and drop it and see I get the text right there. Okay. But this is a query I've already written before. So since I, I knew I was going to use this query repeated repeated times I went to script I say I was actually able to save that query as a script and the beauty of this is that now anytime I need to use that query I can just quickly just do this and just click that and see I have the query all nice and set up ready for me okay and now another really cool feature is you can set the context so you see here I typed in like glue catalog .db .zip so I have to type in this whole full namespace to so give it clear like hey which source is it what subfolder what subfolder but what I can do is I can specify a context. So I'm going to take here, specify my arced catalog. I'm going to specify the context of database2, the database2 folder. And now since I've done that, I don't have to write arctic.database2. I dot zip, I can just write zip. Okay, which basically saves me time in writing my query. So I have all these nice uh, ease of life features here in the SQL editor, but basically turning that CSV file into an iceberg table is just simple as just running this create table as by saying take this query the CSV file, take the results and make it a table in my Arctic catalog. Again, which could also be your AWS Glue catalog or your S3 source. And I just run that. And the end result is I'm going to have an iceberg table that I'm going to be able to query and get all the benefits of iceberg. So I'm going to get the smarter query planning that the iceberg metadata allows along with all the all the other performance boosting features of Dremio that include the use of Apache Arrow, the columnar cloud cache, and data reflections. So now if I head back over here and take a look at my sources, I can go into my Arctic catalog, I head over to database two, and there it is, there's, there's my new table that structures an iceberg table with all the files saved in my S3. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. And again, that would work with any source. If you have any of these other sources added, so if I have a, um, let's say a Redshift uh, SQL Server, MySQL, Oracle, Postgres, or anything else that gets added as a connector or community connectors. If you can access that source from Dremio, turning it into an iceberg table is just a matter of doing a create table as statement as I just demonstrated. So it gives, just gives you a robust, a robust layer to kind of connect all your data sources and easily kind of move them over into iceberg uh, or just access your, your data from there. So have a great day and enjoy.